Unveiled and dedicated just a week ago, the countenance of a Hall of Fame coach and Bobby Dodd proudly displayed in Atlanta. And on a sunny afternoon across the deep south, Georgia Tech hosts Miami. For the last three years, the Miami-Georgia Tech rivalry has been dominated by the Hurricanes. And now, after losing the first outing of 2012 in Blacksburg, Tech is caught in a must-win September storm. Get set for a Coastal Division clash from historic Grant Field in Hunt Atlanta against the Canes and the Jackets on ACC College Football Saturday. On the other side of the field, Stephen Morris needs to play well effectively today with a win. Get this, it would be four straight victories by the Hurricanes at the expense of Georgia Tech. And it does start with Stephen Morris. He has got to be able to stay in the pocket, work his way around the pocket, and deliver the ball downfield. They don't have to go over the top through the Hurricanes. They can go intermediate and short routes. But if Morris takes off too many times if he ends up with more rushing attempts that is a recipe for disaster for the Hurricanes. So in the big picture the keys to success as presented by Ford for Miami's Al Golden and Tex Paul Johnson. Well for Miami and particularly in defensively they've got to be able to have gap control and play on the edge. Assignment football against this spread option attack of Paul Johnson. For Tech it's real simple they've lost three times in a row to Miami because they've turned the ball over. Ball security of utmost importance to Georgia Tech here this afternoon. What a set of wheels true freshman Duke Johnson has for Miami. He's already scored six touchdowns, amassed 638 yards, total yards, and last week he scored three different ways. He rushed one in, he caught a touchdown, and he returned a kickoff 95 yards. He has given the Hurricane fans a lot to be hopeful for. They call him the Duke of Coral Gables. And he's playing just his fourth college game, the ACC's Rookie of the Week. In his home field setting, he'll sophomore wide receiver along with the Duke and Duke Johnson. A lot of hype for Johnson. It'll be interesting to see how he handles today as he trades Bethune-Cookman College for Georgia Tech on the road in Atlanta. And the rest of this, his first year. And as Al Seraldo used to say, toe meets leather. And he's wise enough. He's Duke to down here in the end zone. Good completion percentage. They'd like for him to get the ball out of the pocket a little better, not be so quick to run out of the pocket. We'll see how that develops against this Georgia Tech defense. They open in the eye. That is the senior Mike James at the tailback position. And he'll take a handoff on first down. Alex forward. Stretch it out across the 30. Up to the 31 yard line, running behind another freshman, number 74, and Eric. Experienced except for Flowers in the backfield. Keep your eye on Philip Dorsett. If he can get outside and get down the field, he's a big threat for this Miami Hurricane offense. Well, he makes a first down catch here, tumbling to the ground at the 31. And the number four is quite appropriate. He runs a 4 4. 4 3 5, actually. 4 4. He is facing the tech defense, coordinated by the veteran Al Gro, a 3 4. Deep drive Morris, and look at this arm. He may have six right away with that 4-4 speed. That was number four, and that's a touchdown. 64 yards. Confusion in the Tech backfield. No reason to let Dorsett get that open. Isaiah Johnson in pursuit. Watch the right-hand side. Nice, nice drop. And just confusion in that tech backfield. No way Johnson's going to catch Dorsett. Six points, Miami. Philip Dorsett's very first touchdown reception of this his sophomore year. Officially 65 yards. Jake Whitewater to add the extra point. How about that? You couldn't have a better start than this. Playing with the lead early on the touchdown strike from Stephen Morris. The crowd in Grant Field. Didn't take long, did it? Big White Club. The senior from New Lenox, Illinois, who added the extra point to kick to Oren Smith, along with Jamal Golden. Oren Smith, a terrific kick returner, 1,400 career yards. And here it comes. He gets the edge and burst. 
see why he's so good at the 32 yard line. As Oldham said, that Morris can make every throw in the book. We have seen the air attack. How about the ground game on first down? Pack like a fix. The defense in just a moment. On the pitch to the near side, here comes Owen Smith. They scored against Virginia. The second offensive snap on a rumble of seven. KJ. In the spread option and pounding the middle. Zach Lasky, the sophomore, tucks it and takes it, hammers the inside. Outside. Leads his team in tackles. You see the linebackers will get to the backfield in just a moment. Anthony Ciccolo, the second season starting at defensive end, comes blowing through to drop Washington for a loss. And if you can get a tackle or a defensive end to be able to wrap up the quarterback before he gets outside that tackle box, you're going to go a long, long way. To, start, to stalling and shutting down this Georgia Tech offense. Third and long. Chickalo finished third in the ACC's Rookie of the Year battle a year ago as a freshman. He's quite a talent for this young defense. Washington looks to pitch. He won't earn the first down on the late toss to B.J. Boston. It was in the backfield. of almost He's looking to go for it in Miami territory on fourth down. Washington. Off the pitch, Miami is swarming. Miami defends it perfectly. Oren Smith dropped by the corner. Thomas Finney. And Finney read this all the way. We'll get a look at it from the end zone. Watch your left-hand side. Finney comes crashing in to take the pitch, man. Uh, whatever his key was, he read it. He read it. They lost nine different times at Temple. They faced the option. Empty backfield. Washington throws hot. Lucky that Jamal Golden didn't pick it off. Number four, who is he throwing to here in the early going? Asante Cleveland was on the wing, and here is Johnson. What a lateral cut to his left, and he'll pick up four yards. Steve, a nice juke there by Johnson. Eduardo Clements in the backfield for his quarterback. Here comes Rashawn Scott. This way, Dorsey. They get him in space, and he's able to reach the 47 yard line. He's hammered by Golden and Rod Sweet. Golden Golds, who finished second last year in the Atlantic Coast Conference in punting. He averaged better than 42 yards per kick. He's the preseason All Atlantic Coast Conference punter. See how deep he can pin these yellow jackets as he tumbles it. This is Jamal Golden, gets away from it. <laughs> Look at this. And he did not punt that ball, Paul. He almost drop kicked it. It tumbled into over eight. We'd like to welcome those of you who are watching the Ole Miss two-lane game. Georgia Tech trying to get it going. Compact Robert Godhai knocked down early by Casey Rogers. Shield get on the edge. Washington again pitches to the edge, and there is running room for B.J. Boston. Barry Boston, the sophomore from Louisville, Georgia. And one of three true freshmen. Two of them starting here on defense. On first down, there is that counter again. Washington. Out across the 20, 21 yard line. Uh, we have a lost helmet. 88 is Darren Waller to the bottom of your picture. Tech spreads the field, trying to get the defense out of the box. And Washington wants to throw up top. There was contact, and that'll draw a flag on the edge. The second flag of this opening quarter for Al Golden and Miami. Playing with this first quarter lead. The outset of the Cavalier blowout a week ago. And that was Russell Sutton. Rushing. Counted for seven touchdowns. So adept at making the correct reads in this spread option. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, looking to pitch. Surrounded by Gaines. His helmet comes off. He'll have to leave the game. And he's 31. They pull, they pull big Lyman around. Shaquille Mason. That's that counter option. You see... Coming up, number 59, Jimmy Gaines, who's getting the start today over injured dead Zell Perryman. Off comes the lid, new quarterback. And how about this, a shotgun for Bad Lee. Lee in, sets his feet, now takes off. Lee up, ended at the 40, and we have a king with his helmet on. Jimmy Gaines starting at middle linebacker. You know, Georgia Tech has not allowed a positive return so far this year. Look to rugby it toward Dorset, and he'll get away from it. And Miami 
Oh, we'll start inside their 15-yard line, leading midway through our opening quarter by a touchdown in the line. His legacy on display. KJ, by the way, still has a uh, black and white television set. Morris flushed out of the pocket, heads to the sideline, gets out of bounds. Was able to scramble that way for about three yards. Stay in the pocket and deliver the ball down the field Allen, via the pass. Right, Keith Allen Hearns to the bottom of your picture, number one, set out last week. He is back in there. He can fly. Headed this way. They're able to connect the quarterback and Morris to Allen Hearns in front of the tech. 50 years in Al Grove. Or dunk on that short pass to Clyde Walford, the tight end. And that's a rugby scrum in front of the Tech bench. And the pile uh, coordinator, Jed Fish, spent a long time in the National Football League. And as Fayol calls out, look to be back to him. Isaiah Johnson with the hit after the 30-33 yard line on the carry by Mike James. Let's see if that ball popped out. I don't know if it popped out or it just popped up. Good hit. Continues moving those legs. Does James. He'll get another touch. We've got a flag here on the near side. He's a tough customer, is James, with a penalty marker down. Get to the sideline and get that there's, there's not a middleman. He, he'll make the call, and then someone else will signal it in. Another deep drop. Morris steps up. Again goes that. All the way down inside the Tech 25-yard line from marking out of bounds at the 21. Isaiah Johnson in coverage. And again, you see Morris going down field. We knew they wanted to try to get some intermediate and short rounds, but they've shown great, great productivity with the long ball here in Atlanta. And again, that huddle up, perhaps surprising Georgia Tech. Walford to the far side. Mike James, who wins all the strength conditioning awards for Miami, number five, the senior, back with his quarterback. Some confusion that appeared there. Now the hitch to the outside incomplete. Saw the linemen turning around, looking at their quarterback, and Jonathan Feliciano before the ball was snapped, and that's skipped up. That's one play after this. Again, watch the play of the offensive line, giving Morris plenty of protection, and then a long, deep crossing route. Brought in. Gonna have to go. He is six of eight for 120 for yard. Walford comes to the near side. Morris looks this way. He's going for the end zone and Walford. He throws. And Walford unable to make the diving grab. As Jameer once on third down. Facing third and ten, they must penetrate the 11 yard line. Hearns shifts. A tandem this way. Five down. In and out of the hands of Dorsey. This is going to be a most long was a 32 at Kansas State. This would be 37, and he hammers it. And it is good. A touchdown, a field goal. And Miami's lead swells the double digits. Ready to get to Orrin Smith. One return today, along with Jamal Golden. This is Orrin Smith. And he starts out, puts his hand on the ground outside the That's goal line. That's not good. And uh, some confusion as to what he did. Did he come over and break the plane? And that is a safety. It goes from bad to worse for Georgia Tech. And elation on the Miami sideline. See right here, both feet are back. He's outside. He breaks the plane it's, coming out. And it's not his hand, Paul. It's where the ball right. is. He can put his hand in the territory. The ruling on the field is a safety. This play is under further review. Again, the Miami team that opened the year on the road. After the further Washington review, College. the ruling on the field stands. There it is. Safety. That's that means a safety. they didn't have enough video evidence, so they go with the ruling on the field. It is a safety. And there is a man we haven't seen as much of as we thought we might in the Duke. Has Duke Johnson. Hasn't been needed yet. No, not yet. There's a lot of football to be played. And from his 20, we still have that rule in place, and he did not hit this well. And here will come James off his 42-yard line. Back to the center of the field, to midfield. And he's in tech territory. Time now for the GMC video vault. Last year in Miami, the Canes scored three out of the first four times. They were in the red zone and held the Yellow Jackets spread option offense scoreless in the second half. 
and Miami pounded away on Georgia Tech 24-7. And that is our GMC video board. With four minutes to play. Now, your Miami call, do you keep your foot on the gas? He, had he hit that slant route, you may have to do a set. And gets the play call. Plenty of time on the play clock. Six, five. Tyron Dye, the tight end out in the pattern. Morris, flushed. 45, 42 yard line on second down. Back to this three four. Or pardon me, Georgia Tech is. Eduardo Clements in the backfield. Pass protection. And that's a first down grab, the diving catch, clutch by Dorset. And a good decision by Morris. Got back. We wind under three minutes remaining on this Sunday afternoon in our first quarter. First carry for Eduardo Clements and a trio of running backs. They gave up a bunch of yard to the Boston College offense through the air, but they won on the scoreboard, did the Hurricanes. There was a first in there in which Miami outscored the Eagles 41 to 9. The Duke started left, cuts right. His change of direction, he is so shifty. Makes it difficult to tackle him. And uh, he can play so many positions. He's now a top year pitcher. Is Duke Johnson. Again, four touchdowns last week, three different ways. And he makes the catch, and it's a first down grab to the 21 yard line. As Steve Burns was telling you. <laughs> Two, three games. That's a bunch. Your fifth year senior. That's a bunch. Miami is driving the football now after taking over on the free kick. Uh -oh. oh, that somehow got through the outstretched arms of Jeremiah Tochu. Went right through his hands. His wrist. What a huge turnover, wouldn't it have been? At the 26th, or rather 16-yard line. Another hot throw inside the five. This time, Malcolm Lewis, his first grab of the day for the freshmen. Miami in the red zone as presented by CPI Security. It might be Lewis. And that appears to be the head coach in Al Golden who is out to attend to him. Gets that ankle rolled up underneath him right there. And he is in serious pain. And in fact, Al Golden, the head coach, you can see with his arms wrapped around him to provide comfort. Yep, that's, uh, that's, uh, they're going to bring out the inflatable cast. That's, uh, not a good sign. Medical trainers, too, from Georgia Tech came sprinting from their sideline on to attend to him. and apply medical assistance and part of what they're doing there paul if i may tell you is is they're shielding because they're working the orthopedists are working that this is something like maybe a dislocated ankle or a compound fracture that that literally has to be reset right now and the severity is such that the university of miami players his teammates gathering in prayer to support oh, him so as a player, KJ, obviously disturbed by what you see, how do you now well, you, try you, to bring you, it back? You spend a quick moment thinking about it. You spend a quick moment in prayer, but then you've got to forget about it because you've still got a ball game to play. That's that's part of the mental aspect of this this game called tackle football. People mm -hmm. do get hurt, and while you uh, are, are allowed to feel bad for a moment, you've got to be able to refocus, get back into the ball game once you go back Fair. live. Off to a nearby hospital. James, close to the goal line. Mike James, the leader of the Clash Young Men. Atlantic Coast Conference involved in his community in Haines City. Trying to punch it in. And get six more on the board. Tech, everything's falling apart for Tech. They have too many people, too many people on the field. That would be for Jim. The fullback is Hagens. The tailback, James, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami, a second time in this quarter to go with a safety. 
and to a company of field goal. Nothing fancy. They pull one of those big old linemen around. I think that was at the center, McDermott. Might have been the, the right guard, Linder. And James just gets on his hip, heads right in. His 14th career rushing touchdown. White long. Perfect on the extra point. And we end the first quarter 19 0. Miami. A dominating performance. Oh, pure golden for Al and the Kings here to open a renewal of this rivalry against Georgia Tech. Two teams out of the ACC Coastal. Weeks as White Claw did set the boot away to the gentleman Smith and Golden. It was Orrin Smith. Came out of the end zone, broke the play, and went back in. Committed to safety. He'll start inside his five. And he won't reach the 10 yard line. Dropped and dropped immediately on the tackle by Edward Clemens. Orrin Smith, as you see, Mark Denotre, the defensive coordinator. And the pitch to Orrin Smith. Donofrio, like Al Golden, played Leonard. Donofrio, a captain for Joe Paterno. Oh, toughest mentally, toughness in doing your job. He takes Galaska. Washington got high to just drop, surrounded, taken down by Casey Rogers. Can I take you back to a couple of weeks ago, KJ, when Kansas State... K-State had six rushing touchdowns against this defense, running a similar offense. What's the change two weeks later? What has Miami learned and improved upon? Well, it's a long time for K-State. The Wildcats, three rushing touchdowns alone. Get a yard here. Flag down. Flag behind the play in the pitch for Warren Smith. Able to find the edge and the sideline. To midfield. He cuts back to the heart of the field. He's at the 20 as Smith. Trying to atone for that safety. Drop down inside the five by Brandon McGee, who had to run 80 yards to take him down. But we remind you, there is a flag along the line of scrimmage. To the field. Offside. Defense, number okay. 93. Holy offense. Both coming is all set. Replay third down. We did not get a number on the holding call. The offside was It's been one of those days so far for Georgia Tech. How different than just seven days ago against the Cavaliers' field. From the option, Washington stretches for a first down. But there were three white. Play action. Washington unloads deep. Incomplete. That at the 40 yard line with the flag in late, intended for Jeff Green. Danny World wants to be certain. Unsportsmanlike like conduct against Miami running into the coach. 15 yards, first down. Running into the coach, unsportsmanlike condo. He can't be clear on that. That that cannot be correct. Running into the coach, me. He is saying that he was on the field of play, and the official ran into him. So it's Al Golden's fault. That's the call. Well, we we saw that call in the uh, Florida State game last week. That's the get back rule. You're too close to the sideline. In that situation, that's called. First down here, a second pass play, and this one right on the number. Inside the 10-yard line for Tony Zenon. It typically works. It's a gain of 57 for Zenon, just his second catch of this season. Washington stood up, driven back. He may have lost a yard on first down, just stuffed by the Atlanta native from North Atlanta High School, Eddie Johnson. This again is the counter. Look how deep that Washington gets. And he tries to move back upfield. Just too many the ACC in passing efficiency. It's Georgia Tech. You wouldn't think that. Off the counter. Washington to Smith. A race for the pylon, and he's in for a touchdown. Georgia Tech finally is on the board. Scholes can also earn the scholarship to form a walk on. He's nailed all 18 of his extra points so far this season. He's able to tighten it up to a 19-7. It's tough to prepare for. You just don't see it a whole lot. And you're right. Got to be focused. Miami's done an excellent job of getting ready for it. And we'll start this out at the top. Miami, a sensational start. Calling down somewhat the injury to Malcolm Lewis. Up 19 to nothing at one point. 
And the throw here to Dorsett, who's off and running. Dorsett loses the football. Georgia Tech has it. At the 40-yard line, Jabari Hunt paws the fumble. Again, deep drop by Morris. Delivers on time and out route. Ball security. Got, he just had that ball too far away from his body. Brandon Watts, who is a very, very fast linebacker, comes in and Hunt Days recovers it. Brandon Watts Georgia Tech's way. Do they try and strike quickly? Warren Smith. Balls out. The quarterback in Washington gets it right back to Miami. The hesitation. No, that's an incomplete forward pass. Look again. As long as the quarterback is behind the line of scrimmage and that ball goes forward, it's considered a pass. Just like the old shuffle pass. He was trying to get it to Zach Lasky. 37 maybe. Just throwing yeah. it at him. Right there. Smith not even looking for the ball. No. In panic mode, Washington throws it off his backside. Technically an incomplete pass. A break for 10. From the 43. Zinnin takes it on the near side, 45. A yard shy of Missville. He attended the memorial service in Miami. He flew back to Atlanta last night. Washington. First down inside the 45-yard line. Ambrose to the linebacker. Defense. And D'Onofrio, the coordinator. He wants to throw. Clearly a pass this time. Appeared to be some contact at the 10-yard line intended for Anthony Autry. on Fenny once again. Seven different Yellow Jackets have carried the ball so far. And the pitch to got high. Got ice still on his feet, stays in bounds. And pulled down by his face mask inside the 10-yard line. Got a high, yanked down, and a nice move along the sideline to stay in bounds. How he kept his balance right there, I don't know, but he did. Works back inside, and you see the face mask right there. Helmet comes off, flag comes in. He stands all of 5'7", weighs 180 pounds. Robert Godhard, the junior. First and goal. Running back David Sims for the first time. Behind his quarterback, checking at the line of scrimmage. And Sims runs into his quarterback. And we've got another flag. Or rather, Georgia Tech is. Here comes Washington. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! And going to Robert Godhigh carry, David Scully to make this a 1914 affair. And that's where we stand. Nine oh four. We capture some of the mold that they had at the outset. Plenty of time left. Plenty of time left. That turnover by Dorsett led to the second touchdown. Scully pops this short. We should have a return, and it's Duke Johnson, the freshman. He fights his way out to the 26 yard line. To Needs to slow down this Miami offense. And Tech has had defense, or defensive issues today with Stephen Morris and this Miami attack. They have dominated statistically. The tight end, Clive Walford, number 46, trying to communicate with his quarterback. They'll run his way, and Duke slithers out to the 35-yard line. I should Very cross. compact and powerful pounds that can also run like the wind. The center for Miami, number 62, Shane McDermott, working out of the gun. Miami over 200 yards of total offense so far. Very patient was Duke Johnson now being bent back as he nears the first down marker by his improvements to play. Out of Miami, Norland High School, they won the state championship, did Norland, a year ago. A perfect 15 and 0. Again, wrapped up and a drop, tripped up by Brandon Watts. And again, you see the first that. half for Watts, and he's also forced a fumble. Four coming out of the backfield, Johnson, and he cannot get away. Good sure tackle on the edge by Jamila Thomas. That is the running back. Alan Hearns to the top of your screen. What's coming? Miami throws the strike to Walford. He drops the ball. Defended by Rod Sweet. Jamal Golden will be in single safety for this punt by Dalton Bolts. Or Botts, rather. The center is Paul Kelly, 
a new assignment for him. Very hot. Golden makes the catch. No fair catch call. Here he comes. Green grass. Rambling into Miami territory. Back to the 30. And there's turnaround for Georgia Tech, which has awakened. Washington pitches to the near side, and Zinn is flattened on the play. Just hammered down. It'll be second down. Great job coming up for Darius Gunter. Redshirt sophomore out of Montgomery, Alabama, seeing some playing time. And Gunner is all over that. Seven. A lot of ability, undersized. They play very hard. Washington throws through two high for Godhart, who again is 5 7. Put catch and run. And set up the first touchdown. Here it's third, and we'll call it 11. Sims was with him in the backfield. Washington looking downfield. He throws. A catch is made at the 10 yard line. Zenon inside the 10. First and goal, Georgia. Waller and Green, the two wide receivers. And the first carry for David Sims, who was injured at Virginia Tech. It started that game. Major part of the starters back from a year ago. And they'll line it up on second and goal. Right at that five-yard line. Washington with that late pitch to Orion Smith, and he is wrapped up at the 10-yard line. Bulldog down by Brandon McGee, the corner. And these wide receivers for Tech right now in front of him. Wide receivers have got a matchup. See right there, it looked like uh, 88 Theron Waller's man in McGee. you got to match up and hold your ground with them right at the line of scrimmage. You cannot allow them to push you back or to get around you if you're a wide receiver blocking in this spread option. This will be a big stop for Miami here to force Georgia Tech into a field goal. Third and goal from the 10. God high. Play action to him. Washington wants to run for the end zone. He's in. He soon will go for two. David Sims behind his quarterback. That goes Waller. Washington on the roll. Guns high. God high. Did he break the plane? No, he did not. Did not. Did not. Made a nice catch. But did not cross the plane. Georgia Tech. And this call has been reversed moments ago. God hide its rule. Upon further review, did break the plane of the goal line. That's a two-point conversion. What a what a remarkable turn of the as we near halftime. Skelly. The Duke of Carl Gable. As if shot out of a cannon. To the 49, he puts on the brakes. He, can, he glides along, Keith, and then the first. 47 yards. Lateral quickness, a good burst, some high end speed. He's the package. That's all about David's foot of touchdown today. Ars Higgins is the fullback leading the way for James, who pounds it here. 55 on offense. Morris, as he gets the play, by the way, is flirting with what would be a four straight 200 yard passing week. He's at 187. We have three minutes to go in the second quarter. He's going upstairs. A lot of time to throw. When you get time like this, that's picked off. You should be able to do something other than find the corner for Georgia two in one day. Yep. Tremendous day for him. 250 to go. How does Tech play this out? Washington attacks the middle, and there is running room for the 23. Tech against so nationally ranked TCU. Bowling Green at Virginia Tech. A busy day. Zinni trying to get away. Up to the 25-yard line. Tyrone Courtney almost to the far side. Tech has converted all four of its third down situations in this quarter. They are four for four. Got high. Started off the wing. He gets knocked down. Washington has no one to pitch it to. He earns the first, though, as he gets out of bounds upfield at the 32. And it's been very intense. The first two quarters today at Bobby Dodd Stadium. The old coach would like the feel of this game. It has been intense. Three receivers for the near side on first down. 
Washington looks this way, running out of time, throws, nearly picked off at the 41 Tough, yard. tough throw for a quarterback, trying to throw against his body back over the middle. Right there, pumpkin on the ground. Jimmy Gaines starting today as he did in the victory over Georgia Tech a year ago. But Denzel Perryman is out with a right ankle sprain. They lost Ramon Blackman, Raymond Blackman, to a knee injury against K-State. Rafael Kirby in fall camp. So they're down the depth chart as Lasky hits it off the right side. And four. Tevin Washington has completed only two passes. And boy, has this been a different second quarter than the first. Washington looks to be shy of the... Just let the clock expire. Needing a yard. Yard high. The shift to the backfield. Brian Smith, he shifts as well. And now they'll call timeout. Will they? Counting down that play clock. In the second and now the quarter for it. Georgia Tech. They got going. Georgia Tech, which had... 39 yards, total offense, quarter number one, 176 in quarter number two. And Tevin Washington with two touchdowns. Go ahead. Locker room and nothing really has been decided. Miami own quarter number one. The Yellow Jackets quarter number two. And the Canes going for a fourth consecutive victory in as many seasons. Our Golden Eagle Company hoping to pull it out today against the Yellow Jackets in a matchup of two teams out of the coastal half of the Atlantic well, Coach, uh, Coast. big momentum swing in this yeah. game. What are your priorities at halftime? Well, it's a three-point game. You're on the road in the ACC. Just forget about, you know, the first quarter versus the second quarter. Where are we right now? Take a deep breath. Three-point game on the road. Let's go after it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.